It is one of the most common diseases in Sweden, affecting our children. Ear infection or otitis, a painful infection that, in some cases, impairs hearing for life. What happens is that the auditory tube might be blocked. When there is an increased pressure in the middle ear, then you can also get a perforation of the, the tympanic membrane. So Amanda, what did you do? What should you come in? Du har kommit hit idag för att vi ska titta i ditt öra. Mm. Vad är det som har hänt? Har du haft öroninflammation? Ja. Kan du beskriva hur det kändes? Det gjorde väldigt, väldigt ont. Mm. Christian Riesbeck wants to put a stop to ear infections. If you have otitis media too many times a year, then there's a risk of getting hearing loss as well. Hej Sandra. Hej Hur går det idag? Det går bra tycker jag. What Christian Riesbeck wants to do is create a vaccine against otitis, utilizing the bacteria's own defenses. We are working on Hemophilus influenza. It's a bacterial species that causes 30% of all acute otitis media at the present time. Hemophilus influenzae loves iron, which is why it is grown on these dishes of boiled blood. Så har vi kanske en 50-60 koloni och var, varje koloni innehåller 10 miljoner bakterier. Det är mitt liv det här. Mitt andra hem kan man säga. What is this weapon the bacteria have that Christian Riesbeck wants to use? Hemophilus influenza produces something we call outer membrane vesicles and it's some kind of defense system that the bacteria have. Hemophilus influenzae has two cell membranes, and the bacterium can produce small vesicles like water balloons from its surface, vesicles which can fool the immune system. They capture the immune system's antibodies that would otherwise have adhered to the bacterium's surface. This causes the immune system to attack the vesicles instead of the bacterium. And Christian Riesbeck wants to use these vesicles in a vaccine. One evening a week, Christian Riesbeck works here at the vaccine clinic in Halviken. Man kan få lite mer ont i armen i den andra armen då. <laughs> in the prevention of infectious diseases, um, vaccines have played a large role actually. We have vaccines against uh, poliomyelitis. It's almost eradicated from uh, the earth. But the best success example is, of course, smallpox, which we do not have any longer. In the future, Christian Riesbeck's own vaccine against ear infections might be one of the ones offered. It's just a matter of him making it all work. So we want to tailor make those vesicles by genetical means. The idea is that the genetically modified vesicles will cause the body's immune system to form lots of antibodies against the bacteria. So if the bacteria itself then enters the body after vaccination, the immune system can act quickly and fight it off thus preventing an outbreak of the disease. Right now we are producing the perfect outer membrane vesicles that can be used in a future vaccine. Vad snabb du var. Jag har inte riktigt med här. Det här ser ut som äpplemos. Det ser ut som äpplemos fast, fast det är trumhinnan så som vi såg. The goal is of course to decrease the number of infected individuals so there will be less children affected and less children that will have fever and acute attached media and so on. And also that parents do not need to stay at home. And that's a big profit for the society as such. Thank you so much Amanda for that you came here today. Everything is great. I hope that we will see you again. Do you say that you don't have any more information? Is it okay? Yeah.